They're the second leading cause of childhood injury. 15-year-old Sarah Francis is trying to get that message out to kids right across North America to be aware but not afraid of dogs. Sarah's here to share her tips. And, and you were bitten once. Uh, yeah, when I was about seven years old, I was running away from a dog and it bit me right on my ankle. And when you were seven, so you were probably, that probably made you a little bit timid or frightened oh, of dogs yeah. after that. Yeah. So the, but you turned it around. Yeah. Well, how, when did you decide to start loving the dogs again and then working toward the other end? Well, when I was about seven years old, my mom and I would go to our local shelter and we would walk the dogs and clean their cages. And then, so you got your confidence back, basically. Yeah, yeah, and I found out something very important that parents and children should know, and that is that... Um, you know, 2.7 million kids last year in North America were bit by a dog, and it's the second leading cause of children injury. So, mm -hmm. and part of it is is in an approach, and you're going to show us some of the things that you think kids should know if they are going to approach dogs, right? Yeah. And maybe if we could wake up this guy here, <laughs> Harley, sit up. Come on, sit up. Come here, come here, sit. Okay, sit. Okay, show us what you would do if you're approaching. Well, he's not exactly. Sit, Harley. Go ahead. Well, usually what kids want to do is they want to go up and give him a great big hug around his neck, you know, but um, dogs hate things being around their neck, so that's one reason why they would bite children. So what you want to do is go up to the owner mm -hmm. and say, hi, can I pet your dog? And let them sniff your hand before you do, and even before you pet it, you want to pet it underneath its chin not on its head because dogs hate that and it makes them frightened. So, so always underneath? Yeah, always underneath or on the side, you know. But at the same time, he's getting a scent of your hand yeah. as well. Yeah. So had you, after you started going to the shelters and doing all that, working with dogs, you weren't bitten again, right? No, no. And do you think um, it's something that for young kids, I mean, they see a dog, they want to run toward them, yeah. right? So how do you, and it, you're telling, you know, for very young children how to do this. Right. And well, the, yeah, you know, you just always have to remember that dogs are... Dogs are scared, and dogs use body language, too, to show us if they're scared or if they're happy, you know? And do you have one now? Do you have a dog of your own now? Uh, yeah, I have a little chihuahua. <laughs> Good for you, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs>